this is Richard from Knights of the Round Grill and I've been sent today the Pit Bauer Junior um, and a load of accessories so I'm going to get into unboxing and uh, show you what it's about. There we go, that's the pit barrel <coughs> fully unboxed, assembled with only a few minutes really. Um, so what it comes with is obviously the lid, um, a stand for it to sit on, the air intake baffle, an ash pan that sits inside, uh, the bars that go through for your hanging, and then four of these hangers. Okay, let's go on to the accessories now. Ah, and of course it comes with a standard grate. So the first accessory is the <clears throat> uh, hanger value box or pack. Um, it comes with three different accessories to be able to hang different things. So hot dogs, vegetables, whatever the case may be. As well as a basket for various other items. Solid made, yeah, really nice. Another accessory uh, is the hinged grill grate, which is similar to the grate that it comes with. Uh, whereas, whereas this one's solid, this one has a hinge uh, to which you can either hinge upwards and hang through through, through or si what I think a lot of people do is flip it the other way around so that the hinge then opens downwards. And then this is also becomes um, a second place to put vegetables or um, other meats on top of here that's uh, cooking whilst you're hanging food through through this gap here. So the next accessory we've got is uh, two 15-inch hanging skewers <coughs> of 
obviously load them up with whatever you wish, whether that be meat or vegetables, and then hook them through the hanger and hook them on. And your meat, meat, meat or vegetables are, are skewered on that and hanging down. Next accessory is uh, 10 inch hanging skewers, exactly the same principle as the 15 inch, just a little bit shorter, but whereas you get two in a pack for the 15 inch, you're getting four in a pack for the 10 inch. Yeah, so the next one is the turkey hanger. Um, so you're hanging a turkey uh, through there, turkey sits on here and then you feed this through and then that sits either side of each bar within the pit barrel. So you've got the extra room and that's in the centre of the pit barrel. The next accessory is the uh, attachable ash pan that sits underneath the ash pan, uh, the charcoal pan, and that sits down over the top. And then once you're in, you rotate it round, and then that catches all the ash that falls through from your coals. That's going to make easy clean up. I wouldn't want to be without that, I think. And the last accessory here is a little chimney starter, which if you've already got one, you might think, why do I need another one? But actually, uh, to be able to feed that through with the width of what this is and tip out, you need a small diameter or small height uh, charcoal starter, and that's perfect for the job on the pit barrel cookers. Um, quality all looks good, quite happy with that. I mean, the only suggestion that I would make would be I do like to see stainless steel grills. Uh, these are the chrome triple plated uh, steel grills, um, which are okay. They last a few seasons typically before you start thinking about wanting to replace them. Um, whereas the stainless steel, they usually last a lifetime, don't they? Um, so that would be my only recommendation um, if we were to look to improve something. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nice plating on this. Um, it all seems solid. So yeah, looking forward to my first cook on it. Probably gonna put, put a chicken in there. Um, quite easy one to start off with uh, to make sure we get the uh, settings right on this. Um, on the inlet for the altitude, not a very high altitude, about 200 feet um, here in Cheltenham, UK. Um, yeah, so take a look at the pitbarrelcooker.com, um, look up your local dealers to find out where you can go and see these or buy them from.